We have a follow-up now on a fire that tore through a senior citizens complex in Washington yesterday. Six residents were treated for minor injuries, but David Martin reports this could have been much worse were it not for a few good neighbors. The smoke went up from a senior living complex and the Marines came running. These are our neighbors. They needed help. Uh, we had to act. The fire was about 200 yards from their small outpost in downtown Washington. When they got there, a construction worker told them all they needed to know. He yelled to us, there's more people in there, and that's when the Marines decided we need to go get them. I don't think there was really any thought to it. It was just saying we need to get these people out of here uh, before anything serious happens, and the, just that instincts kicked in to, to go. Did you have any firefighting equipment, any breathing masks or anything? No, sir. There were firefighters there, of course, and residents of the neighborhood as well. But safe to say the Marines were the youngest and fittest, which mattered because some of the residents were trapped on the fourth floor. It was a pretty bad fire, especially on the top floor. Um, some paralyzed, immobile people in there. We actually just picked people up as best as we possibly could and then had the wheelchairs at the exit and then put them right into the wheelchair or the litter um, right outside the building after we carried them down four flights. All 190 residents got out alive with only six sent to the hospital. Marines have a saying, no better friend, no worse enemy. In this firefight, they proved the best of friends. David Martin, CBS News at the Marine Barracks Annex in Washington.